Good morning, beautiful people. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. Lisa the Prepper back with you to give you a few reminders. Um, last time we did food preparation. This time we're more basic household hygiene things. And hopefully you've already stocked up on it. But if you haven't, hey, I'm just here to jog your memory, okay? So let's run through this. This is gonna be a really quick video because I mean, duh, how many ways do you say deodorant and stuff like that? Okay, so let's start off with the body stuff. Um, duh, deodorant. Um, got these at Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't think I paid more than $4 for them. I can't honestly remember because yeah, I did most of my shopping for stuff like this like a little, less than a year ago um tj maxx and marshall's oh my gosh i love those stores and this is one of my favorite body washes ever i have them in different scents i i have a uh, my favorite i think is the apricot and tea tree oh my gosh so good love love this brand um after i get out the shower i have to have body oil i'm not really a lotion person unless it's winter time and then I'll use like body butter um, especially on my feet and my hands but springtime fall summer gotta keep it light body oil um, let's see what else oh some things I did pick up in there kind of for your body in that category um, this was kind of hard to come by and I got this at Walmart. I think I had to make two trips to Walmart in order to find this. I had to make four trips to find this. Um, this was right when they were starting the lockdown and I was going to Walmart and the first place I would hit is the uh, health section, the health and hygiene section. And I went four different times and could not find it. They had it an alcohol but it was only 35% I think something like that it was really low and I heard 70% or higher is better so I got that uh, let's see what else I got oh I don't get sick that often R rarely like I come down with the flu maybe once every couple of years but I do have my days where sometimes I feel a little under the weather whether it's due to my congestive heart failure or just I don't know, my allergies acting up, which in Memphis is horrendous. Um, when I feel bad, I will take a dose of this or um, make a hot toddy and a couple of pain pills, knock myself out, and a couple hours later, I feel as good as new. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, duh, toothpaste. I think I bought like four of them. And I actually had a smaller one because I use one kind and my husband uses a different kind. And I just finished my Burt's Bees, which is a smaller tube than that. It took me a year to get through it, which isn't bad. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Um, oh, something else I get at mostly TJ Maxx, sometimes Marshalls, is face wipes. I am not a makeup girl. Um, occasionally you'll see me with mascara or a lip gloss. Usually I put um, lotion or some kind of serum on my face and put on some chapstick and I'm out the door for the day. Um, I'm more of like serums, face wipes, um, face masks kind of thing. I do that. I don't do makeup. Um, something else I picked up, I think I picked these up at Costco. And as you can see, we are already using one. But these are uh, a set of five. Two of them, I think, are wind resistant. And three are like standard. Um, I, like I said, I'm, I'm girly as far as bathroom stuff goes. I do buy extra these. These are what I use as far as a bath or shower. And, um, you know, after a couple months, they get kind of ready. So I just... Throw, throw it out and get another one. Um, showed you medication. Oh, something I hadn't thought of. I think I was watching. 
I don't remember. I watch, a, I watch several preppers on YouTube. And something they mentioned I hadn't even thought about. Rope. Um, we do have metal um, poles set up in our backyard from someone who stayed here previously, I guess. And the only thing missing is the clothesline. And if the power goes out, how are you going to dry your clothes, right? You know, you can't throw them over a chair or something like that. But clothesline, fresh air kind of thing. Um, I also bought paracord. Am I going to lift my fat ass anywhere? No, but if my husband or my kids could use it while I'm, I don't know, shooting at somebody so that they can get away as long as their life is saved, that's all I care about. Um, and I'm working on that, guys, seriously. Um, you have to realize I have congestive heart failure, close to 300 pounds, and I'm almost 50. I'm, I'm about a year and a half away from 50, so don't be pushing okay I do try to get back in the gym I was going to the gym very uh like at least four times a week until the cold snap came that whole freeze that did half the country in um and the gym shut down obviously but I wasn't going out there in the cold anyway and now that they're back open it's just me getting my lazy ass up and going another thing a girl needs is coffee as long as we have power and the coffee maker is working, great. But guess what? Gotta have that coffee in the morning. So if power goes out, I got this. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. And, I mean, obvious things like uh, disinfecting wipes. One thing I will say, I don't use disinfecting wipes that often. Um, I do have a, a spray that I make up. It's made of pine saw bleach and water that I usually like spray my counters and stuff down and and wipe off don't get me wrong nothing wrong with being clean I'm not saying don't be clean what I'm saying is if you disinfect your house your office whatever you're doing and you're killing all of the germs what is your body gonna fight you have to have something for your body to fight now I'm saying like if something is dusty or I don't know you're sitting behind a nasty person that had stuff all over their desk and stuff or you have shared desks or something duh wipe it down I mean clean it but if you make it a point to clean absolutely everything with disinfectant and you're killing all the germs and your body is not keeping your immune system built up then what's the point point? and I think that's another thing where a lot of people got COVID simply because maybe they are too clean. You know what I'm saying? Um, by all means, be clean, people. I'm not saying don't clean your houses or don't clean your your place of employment or what what it have you. But I'm just saying, leave some germs for your body to be able to fight off easily with no problem. Okay. Um, I think that is it. I'm sure I have other stuff that. I wasn't gonna load all that stuff in here. Um, so I'm gonna go put all this back. But um, next time, maybe we'll do the defense thing. I'm not sure. We have, a, yeah, we have a lot of defense things. Um, stuff that I know how to use, hey! Um, <laughs> but but um, yeah, until then guys, um, just, Take care of yourselves and each other and God bless and see you next time. Prepper out.